Anas bin Malik radiyallahu anhu narrates, he says the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min alham wal hazan. Wow. Oh Allah. He used to say, Oh Allah, I seek your protection from worry and sadness. Brothers and sisters, this is powerful. What worry did the Prophet ﷺ have or sadness? Subhanallah, he was the best of creation. We need this dua more than anyone else. Many of us complaining of worry, anxiety. Alham also refers to anxiety. And al-hazan refers to sadness. People are sad today, very sad. For what? Over something minor sometimes. And people are suffering with anxiety to the degree that they don't even know what to do. They are worried about the future. They're worried about what's going to happen. So much of anxiety, so much of worry in the mind, in the heart. And it affects the health. It affects everything. It affects those around you. So this dua is very, very powerful. Oh Allah, protect me from anxiety and from sadness. My brothers, my sisters, don't we desperately need this dua? Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al wal hazan. Oh Allah, I seek your protection from anxiety. I seek your protection from worry and from sadness. And hazan could also mean difficulty. Alhamdulillah, alladhi adhaba anna al hazan. You know, we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has deflected from us or who has saved us from uh, hazan. Hazan meaning sadness as well as difficulty and hardship. The next part of this dua, wal ajzi wal kasal. Oh Allah, I seek your protection from inability and I seek your protection from. Uh, kasal, kasal here refers to laziness. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al wal hazan wal ajzi wal kasal. Inability, helplessness. Al ajz also refers to helplessness. I seek your protection from helplessness and from laziness. Subhanallah. Wal jubni wal bukhl. Here come those two uh, characteristics again that the Prophet ﷺ kept on seeking protection uh, in Allah from. What are they? Al jubn. Cowardice, the opposite of bravery. You know, if someone is brave. We're asking Allah to be brave. And al-bukhl means miserliness, stingy. <laughs> Subhanallah, a person who doesn't want to spend. Sometimes we have millions. We don't even spend on our own families. It's strange how some people have very little, but they spend. Amazing. We think that this person is wealthy and they're not really wealthy. They are not really wealthy. They are just spending. They are the ones who are known as the wealthy because Allah's blessed them with the ability to give. And then you have others who really have the millions and the billions. They don't give. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be able to give. Then there are two more things in this dua that are so powerful, so powerful that we all definitely do need to keep asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from. So he says, Oh Allah, protect us from being overcome by debt. You know, debt when we can't pay back. We took a loan, we, are, we cannot pay back. Oh Allah, protect us from that condition where we cannot pay back our debts. Oh Allah, protect us from the condition where we cannot pay back our debts. The overburdening through debt, where the debt has overtaken us. And غَلَبَتِ rijal means the defeat at the hands of the men, the enemy. So, oh Allah, do not allow us to be defeated by the enemy. Amazing. Let's look at the entire hadith because it's extremely beautiful. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al wal hazan wal ajzi wal kasal wal jubni wal bukhl wa dhala'i daini wa ghalabati rijal Say them in English or start learning a little bit. They will help you. Many of the people complain about all of these things and we don't know they are in the words of the Prophet peace be upon him. My brothers, my sisters, the supplications we make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the dua that we make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we must be serious about the dua. There is no point in calling out to Allah to give you something and you're not making an effort. You need to make an effort as well to try and achieve what you're asking for. So when you ask for goodness, you try and do goodness. When you ask for protection from evil, you try your best to abstain from evil. You don't just walk towards sin and say, oh Allah, protect me from sin, but you're walking towards it. We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe. And by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button, you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you.